Always nice when a brand that's done well develops its product line and it's a great way to kick off 2023. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. Summary video review. Have a look at the links below this video. Go and have a look at the main website. You'll get the bigger review, the written review, the pictures, the scores. All my other reviews are there too and lots of other stuff. And you'll see the thank yous running across the bottom of the screen because I say every week, got a ukulele is not brand sponsored or shop sponsored. If I took money from the brands and the stores, these would be adverts, not reviews. So my eternal thanks go to the people who donate to help keep this site going. I couldn't do it without them. And you can also help out by subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you hit the bell symbol as well, you'll get notified of new stuff coming your way. Okay, as I said in the intro, I really like it when an established brand comes along and sort of starts to develop their product line. And I'm not going to say that they've really massively developed their product line. This is a brand that hit... Uh, my attention back in 2014 and they're one of those very few brands that kind of created a diamond in the rough of the very very cheap sopranos that are not completely trash this one came along in 2014 it was a bit of a game changer before that it was just the Macala dolphin i talked about that brand's called Octopus, and they still mainly focus on the absolute beginner level Sopranos, which they do very well, and the educator market, schools, teachers, that kind of thing. But they have developed. I looked at a concert of theirs a couple of years ago, which was really rather nice. They've developed some solid top models and some different types of woods, and I'm really delighted to get hold of this one that they've sent over very kindly. This is their new-ish, all-solid mahogany um, Soprano. Um, they do an all-solid concert and a tenor as well. And it's the first all-solid foray for the Octopus brand, who, as I say, still very much focused on that beginner educator market. So I don't think they're trying to be all things to all people, but they put out a small range of all-solid instruments. And first glances, looking at this one, I think it's really rather nice, actually. It's all solid mahogany. The concerts and tenors are solid acacia. I think that's a good choice. Mahogany is a great wood for soprano, because sopranos are naturally bright, and mahogany sort of darkens them back down a little bit. Good enough for Martin. All solid mahogany wood. Mahogany is always kind of plain to look at, and this is rather plain. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on the back and sides. But you know what? It's really not ugly, is it? It's, uh, it's a nice looking instrument, really nice looking instrument. And nicely grained, it's not, um, it's not mismatched or anything like that. It looks decent. The bridge, uh, like all octopuses, is a tie bar style, which is a bit odd for a soprano. I'd rather have a slot style. It's easier to change. It's less real estate on the top. Still, uh, they don't specify the wood on this one, but it's very tidy, got a bit of decoration to it. Tie bar, as I say. Fitted with a new bone straight top saddle, so no plastic, so that's a step above their other models. New bone saddle. The body then is finished in a completely pore filled satin, which is extremely well done. The decoration is pretty sympathetic. Black top uh, and back binding, bit of purfling around the top edge, and abalone around the sound hole ring, which abalone normally I dislike, but it kind of blends in, doesn't it? It's not sort of super bright and glitzy and gaudy and rhinestone, it's just enough. Um, I really rather, rather like the look of that. I think it's all very classy and the finish and build, as I say, is really good. Inside, very tidy. The braces are very, very slight. The kerfing is notched, no real mess at all. That's all quite nice. And the top seems to be nice and thin too. They don't specify the neck wood and it's either got three three pieces with a joint at the heel and an incredibly well hidden joint at the headstock or there isn't a joint up there so it's a two-piece neck which is interesting being far eastern made in china tapers down to a very very average soprano 35 mil 27 g2a not for my hands really but perfect for kids and beginners um but it's not actually too chunky on the back it's a little bit squashed on the back which kind of helps they don't specify the fingerboard but as you can see, very, very good condition. Bit of colour variation out towards the end. Nice shaping at the end. And like all octopuses, which is strange for the price, even their bargain basement ones, they roll the edges of the fingerboard, which is to say that this edge here is not sharp in any way. It's not like a 90 degree. It's got a kind of chamfer to it. That's really nice. And it's the same here. It's edge bound too, so it hides the ends of the frets. Very standard for a soprano, 12 to the body. Position dots face out in usual soprano, soprano positions, 5, 7 and 10, and you get dots on the side as well. 
new bone nut setup is pretty decent on this one up to the headstock uh, that's the octopus shape headstock that lump is because on the cheaper ones they have a logo of a big octopus's head in here with tentacles um, and it's called their Octowave headstock. I think it's kind of nice they've kept it for this more serious instrument and just gone with the Octopus logo. So it's not kiddie, it's not childish, uh, it's a more serious affair. But they've kept the lump, which is their style. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, <clears throat> no, 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 tuners. Look. This is purely subjective. I say this about all Sopranos. I don't like geared tuners on Sopranos because they look like ears. These ones particularly so because the buttons are so big. Um, I'd much prefer rear facing pegs, but I know that's very, very subjective. And I know many of you out there would say, well, I don't want friction pegs. I, can't, I don't get on with them. I want gears. <coughs> I'm possibly even in a minority, but I do know Soprano fans who would not buy a Soprano with these or they'd swap them out. I'd swap them out. Um, still, they are unbranded, but as you can see, they're very, very good quality gearing. Uh, they seem to be very, very good tuners. So they work really well as well, very accurate. Okay, comes with acrylic strings and a really rather nice gig bag in this sort of velour uh, suede. It's nice, it's really tactile, nice to hold that with the octopus branding on the straps as well. I rather, rather like that. And it's a far cry in price from their entry levels, which is sort of 20, 30 quid. But it's still not hugely expensive. This is all solid wood with decoration, about 144 pounds. Um, that seems to be on point. That's a lot cheaper than Martin's and some Kawaias, but it is made in China. But it's actually in the same sort of ballpark as the Ohanas and uh, the Mahi Mahis and people like that. Uh, that are making all solid mahogany sopranos and an all solid mahogany soprano is a very standard wonderful thing it's one of my favorites 144 quid didn't shock me at all and it really didn't shock me because the build here and the finish is extremely good i prefer a tie bar uh, a slot style bridge but it's not a major gripe i can get on with a with a tie bar the finishing's really good it's very tidy the neck could be a bit wider for me but i know it's standard the rolled edges and no sharp fret ends, absolutely really, really nice as well. And the tuners are not for me, but still, they're going to be okay for everybody. Uh, everybody, most people. What, does it, what do you want a little soprano to have? Bark, punch, bite. All right, volume. <laughs> Loads of it. Good. Good. Barky rocket. Like a bomb. Yeah, that's really good. Sopranos don't tend to have lots of sustain, but... This has got a bit. More than some. In fact, it's, quite, it's not bad, actually. Jangly, peppy, sprightly, a little bit one-dimensional. It's not, it's not a high-end Kawaya rich tone, but, but it's. It's all right. And the intonation and volume up the neck is... is really not bad.
it's really good it's really good a good little soprano for not a lot of money no i'm not saying it's a kamaka or anything like of course it's not but it's certainly a really nice alternative to things like the mahi mahi the ohana um mahoganies in fact i kind of prefer the looks of this as well. the feel of this neck's really nice if a little bit narrow but down here it just it just all feels nice 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 yeah thank you very much to the guys at um, octopus they're a british brand and they're made in china but as i say they're focusing mainly on that beginner uh, entry level educator market which is really an honorable thing to be focusing on and they haven't done a great deal else and i think it's nice that that's the case but they've offered this alternative this more serious octopus all solid soprano um i've really enjoyed looking at that one thanks to the team for loaning this one over to me because that's a nice way to kick off the year um a recommendation a recommendation as a get as ever for octopus i've never I've reviewed one or two before and they've both been recommended also rambling rambling okay thank you very much for watching and your ongoing support absolutely miserable weather out there uh, so i don't think i'm doing much else for the afternoon but um i hope you have a very good week ahead I will see you next week. It's another ukulele, um, and I hope you all take care. Go carefully. Thanks for your support. See you all soon. Bye-bye.